एटीन्थ मार्च टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू मॉर्निंग मुर्फली ओम शांति बापता मधुपन स्वीट चिल्ड्रन द फॉक ऑफ माया इज वेरी पावरफुल रिमेन कॉशियस ऑफ इट नेवर गेट कन्फ्यूज बिकॉज ऑफ द फॉक क्वेश्चन वॉट दास डिड द महावीर चिल्ड्रन परफॉर्म विच इज रिमेंबर्ड एज अ मेमोरियल एंड द स्क्रिप्चर्स आंसर The Mahavir children gave the life-giving hope to those who had become unconscious to make them conscious. The memorial of this is shown in the scriptures. Your children should feel mercy. Write a letter and review those who had been doing service and claiming their inheritance from the father, and who then let go of the father's hand and left due to the some reason. write them a letter and ask what happened to you that you stopped studying why have you become so unfortunate you should save those who are falling song show the path to those who are blind dear god om shanti this is very common song oh god make a mistake for the blind because people have been stumbling a lot on the path of devotion However, they don't attend the father. The soul says, "Oh, Baba, I have wandered around a lot in this body in order to find you. The way to find you is very difficult. People definitely understand that they have been performing devotion for birth after birth. They don't know that they first have to receive knowledge in order to able to see from being blind." The law of the path of devotion is to perform devotion and to stumble. People have been stumbling for half the cycle. You have now stopped stumbling. You no know, longer perform devotion or study the scriptures. Once you have found God, why should you do any of that? Why should we stumble when we have found God who will take us back with him? When God comes He will definitely take everyone back with him. Everyone continues to stumble around and also continues to bless one another. But they don't understand anything. They believe that the pope or some other guru who comes will show them the path to find God. However, those gurus do not know the path themselves. So, how could they show it to others even when they give blessings? They just say, "Remember God, say Ram, Ram." For instance, when you ask someone who is walking along a road where a particular place is, he would say, "Keep walking along that way, and you will arrive there." He wouldn't say, "Come, I will take you there." You want to know the way there, and they tell you, but you still need a guide with you. You would be lost without a guide. just as you were all lost in the forest because of the fog the fog of maya is very powerful when those who steer a ship are unable to see the route because of fog they remain very cautious similarly this is fog of maya no one knows the path they continue to chant do tapasya and go on pilgrimages etc you have been performing devotion to find god for birth after birth You also receive many different types of directions. You are colored according to the company you keep. You had to adopt a guru and every bird too. Your children have now found the sad guru. He himself says, "I come every cycle to take your children back home and then I send you to the land of Vishnu. We are now claiming our inheritance from Baba. For instance, if a guru or a pandit etc were to come and take this knowledge and then tell others to be man manabhav and to remember shri baba the disciples etc would ask him where he received this knowledge the disciples would immediately understand that the guru had taken another path his business would immediately end the belief that people had in him would end they would say you have taken knowledge from the brahma kumaris so why shouldn't we also just go to them the gurus themselves say all our followers would leave us 
where would we get our livelihood from? All our business would end. All regard for us would end. Here, you would be kept in a furnace for seven days and you would then be asked to do everything. Cook chapatis, do this. Sannyasis also make whoever comes to them do this so that their body consciousness breaks. It is very difficult for such ones to stay here then. Secondly, first of all, give the father's introduction to those who come from outside and tell them that you are claiming the inheritance of becoming the masters of the world from the mother and father. Baba is the creator of the world. Our aim and objective is to change from ordinary humans into Narayan. If you want to be admitted here, you will have to come and study here for seven days. This requires you to make a lot of effort. No one can break that much arrogance. Such people cannot come here quickly. The father explains that you are brothers and sisters. You can explain to one another. For instance, a child who had been doing very good service and used to explain to many people let go of Baba's hands. You know that Shri Baba teaches us through Brahma. He cannot teach us directly. Baba says, I carry out the establishment through Brahma. I teach you Raj Yoga. If someone lets go of Brahma's hands, it means he lets go of Shri Baba's hand. Just think about it. Why did such and such a person let go of Baba's hand? Instead of being fortunate, why have you become so unfortunate? With whom are you sulking? You must be sulking with the sisters. You are going to claim such a big inheritance. So what happened then? Did the father who is teaching you say something to you that you stopped studying and became so unfortunate? Even Baba can ask, why did you stop studying Raj Yoga? You too are now in the line of those who were amazed with this knowledge. Belong to Baba, related this knowledge to others and then run away. You crossed out your own fortune. You should write to them at an appropriate time. It is possible that when they read your letter, they will awaken again. You have to save those who are falling. When someone is safe from drowning, the person who saves him is given many thanks. Thus too, it is saving someone from drowning. These are matters of knowledge. You should write, you have let go of the hand of the boatman and you will now drown. Rescuers who know how to swim put their own lives in danger in order to save others. When someone doesn't know, how to swim very well, he would be lost. When you see that someone is drowning, write 10 to 20 letters to him. This is not an insult. You held Baba's hand for so long. You explained to so many others. How can you now draw? Write to them with love. Sister, you are coming to study Raj Yoga and go to Akros. You are now drowning. There is mercy to save poor ones. Then whether some are saved or not is in their own fortune. Secondly, when people give their opinions in writing at the exhibitions, they say you are showing the way to change from an ordinary man into Narayan. This Raj Yoga is very good. They write that, but as soon as they go outside, they then forget everything. This is why when people write something, you should follow it up and tell them. You gave your opinion and said this, but what have you done since? You have neither benefited yourselves nor others. The first and foremost thing is to give the recognition of the mother and father. This is why Baba had the questionnaire made, asking them what their relationship with the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, is and what inheritance they receive from him. You should get them to write this. There is no benefit in getting them to write something after you have explained the whole exhibition to them. The main thing is to give the mother and father's introduction. If they have understood this, they should write it down. 
Otherwise, it means they haven't understood anything. You should explain it to them deeply and then make them write that this truly is the world mother and the world father. They should write that they can truly receive the inheritance from the father. When they put this in writing, you can understand that you have done some service. Then if they don't come, you should write them a letter. If they truly are the world mother and world father, why don't you come to claim your inheritance? Death will come suddenly. You should make effort. When an exhibition is held, hardly two or four emerge from that. So what would be the benefit of that? Your children should make effort. If someone stops coming, you should write a letter to him or her. You were claiming your inheritance from the unlimited father and then Maya caught hold of you. You left God's sight. You will destroy your status in that way. Those who are brave warriors will quickly give someone the life-giving hope. This one has become unconscious. Maya caught hold of him by the nose and so save him. Only when you make such effort will the handful out of multi-millions emerge. You should find out whether the sampling has taken a root. Daughters write that their throats choke. But you shouldn't engross yourselves in too much expansion. Explain the first and main thing and make them write it down and then move on to something else. You should explain the picture of the Trimurti very well. You have to faith that he is your mother and father and that you are received the inheritance from him. No matter how old someone is, he can still explain these two words. If you are unable to imbibe even these two words, then Baba understands that your intellects are trapped somewhere in some rubbish. You mustn't speak too much. Simply remember Baba and the inheritance. The inheritance is the land of Vishnu and you are becoming the masters of that. Baba makes everything very simple as he explains to you. No matter what they are like, whether they have stone intellects or are hunchbacked, they can claim the inheritance. Simply follow Srimad. It is easy to become soul conscious. If someone doesn't have a household to look after, and he lives alone. He can do a lot of service. Some have a lot of body consciousness. The string of attachment doesn't break. Those who are soul conscious would not have attachment to their bodies. Baba shows you the method. Consider yourselves to be souls. This is an old world and you have to remove your attachment to it. Remember the one father. By remembering the inheritance, you also remember the creator. It is such an easy income. You are earning it yourselves and you also inspire others. Parents make their children worthy and then it is the children's duty to look after the parents and the parents are free. Here, there are many who have a lot of attachment. Those who don't have their own children would be attracted to their adopted children. They can't then claim a status. Instead of doing service, they do the service. In order for them to have the faith that that one truly is their father, the main thing is to explain at the exhibitions is, through the Raj Yoga that you study with him, you receive the inheritance for 21 births. How is the new world created? How do we become the masters? This is the aim and objective. However, some children don't explain fully. Your children should experience happiness day and night that you are the children of God. They are the children of Vishnu would not have as much happiness as you do of being the children of God. You have now become the children of God and you will then become the children of Vishnu. But the happiness is greater now. Deities are not said to be more elevated than the children of God. Therefore, the children of God should have so much happiness. However, as soon as you leave here, Maya makes you completely forget everything. You can then understand that you don't have the kingdom in your fortune. You should make a lot of effort. Maya, it's such that she slaps you there and then 
and makes you forget everything. Acha. To the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and cut marking from the mother, the father, Baptada, the spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children says Namaste and good morning to the spiritual father. Essence for the dharna. First point, break all strings of attachment and remove your attachment from your old body and the old world and engage yourselves in doing service. Remember the father and the inheritance and accumulate an income. Second point, become a good swimmer and serve to take everyone across. Follow Srimad and don't engross your intellect in rubbish. Blessing, may you easily achieve success by having control over all the powers as a master almighty authority. Explanation, the more you are set on the seat of a Master Almighty Authority, the more all the powers will come under your orders. Just as your physical sense organs do everything according to your orders whenever you order them. In the same way, the subtle powers also work under your orders. If all of these powers now work under your orders, you will be able to achieve success at the end. Because where there are all powers, success is your birthright. Slogan In order to stabilize easily in the subtle and incorporeal stages, became egoless. Aum um, Shanti Invaluable jewels of knowledge from old diaries of Dadis. What is the form of remembrance? Always to be engaged in performing divine activities like the father. How is it visible that you are in God's remembrance when you look at a child, when he follows in the footsteps of his father and becomes engaged in the same task, that is the form of remembrance of his father because a father is very pleased to see his children being obedient. This child of mine is very worthy and obedient and is looking after my home without me. In any case, when the divine children are engaged in performing a divine task, like your divine parents, that is the original form of remembrance by the child remaining stable in the same original form as the form the parents are stable in. The string of both is connected and they instantly reach the father. The father also sees such children are already with me, that is such children are identical to me. By being introverted in this way, you are able to pull God close to you with your silence. Acha Om Shanti